I'm going to be interviewing him. How did you get started on your path to serving for our state? I grew up in a very small town, uh, Wimbledon, North Dakota. And uh, in a small town, uh, you watch your parents uh, sort of be involved in everything. They have to be the eventually the police chief, the uh, fire chief, the uh, mayor, and all of that. So public service kind of gets ingrained in you when you grow up in a small town. And uh, I always felt I owed it to my city and state to do something. And this was available, and I tried this one. Very cool. How long have you served in the ND legislator? I was elected in... 2010 and then re-elected in 2000 whatever 14 so I'm in the uh, I'm, I'm nearing the end of my second term so I've had four sessions here uh, in the legislature we are told that youth are our future with this in mind how do you take youth opinion in when making a decision well in the Divided, uh, we are very divided into co committees that hear all of the different issues. And we have an education committee, um, and uh, they hear a lot of the uh, education issues. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the youth uh, opinion is important to all of us. So it's important for you guys to come out here and let us know uh, what you're facing and what you think. And we listen to all of our constituents, including you guys. What are your thoughts about the DAPL? Well, if you really dig into that, uh, the entire process of building that pipeline uh, had many, many public hearings that followed the legal process, and I think it should be allowed to continue on. Uh, there was a point where public input, input was accepted and listened to long before any construction started, and that was the correct place for, for citizens to give their input. Um, I believe that most of the protesting that's been going on has not been coming from our local tribe. It's, it's, it's coming from people with a larger agenda, uh, and they're trying to, uh, to use North Dakota as their stage to do that. So I'm happy uh, that, they've, uh, that they've actually left, and I'm happy that the legal, uh, the, the law has finally prevailed and the project is uh, moving the way it should. What issues do you feel most strongly about? range vision for our state you know how do we put ourselves in a position to grow and to be a great place for families to live here and uh, raise their children and keep our our, uh, our environment safe and uh, just really keep North Dakota the great place that it is I, I don't think we plan long term enough thinking out uh, beyond the two years you know that we're here uh, we need a little larger vision and I'd like to work on some of those things We have some questions from our teachers back home. If we have such a drug problem for kids, should there be a law in ND that states if you are caught with drugs before you get your driver's license, you would now have to wait until the age of 18 to get a driver's license? Well, Marin, uh, we do have, uh, drugs have become a big issue. They're expensive, they're damaging to families and to young people and to everybody. And I, I believe we do need to, uh, to have more enforcement policies to help control and curb it. Um, and, and we're finding that just putting people in jail doesn't work. So starting at an early age might be a good idea. Um, and uh, something that doesn't involve jail time is probably a good idea. Um, so I, I don't know if I have an opinion today, but that sounds like some, something that'd be certainly worth looking at. Do you have time for one more question? Yeah. How far ahead do lawmakers think before deciding something should become a law? Instead of being reactionary to something that has happened, would it be better to plan ahead? Oh, it would be much better. Uh, I would say probably half the bills here in the session are reactionary to something that happened in the past two years. And the other half are, uh, I'm not sure I would say visionary, uh, but they're at least planning for the next two years. One thing I have learned since I've gotten here is that Laws aren't permanent. They're really only rules we live by for the next two years because we can change them as soon as we get back here. So, uh, But I would like to see much more long-range planning as we discussed. I don't think we do a very good job of that because we're, you know, we're citizens. We have other jobs, and we get here, and, and mostly we solve the last two years' problems. Thank you for your time. Yep, thanks for having me.